Now, the Minister of Water and Sanitation, Senzo Mkunu, says they've joined hands with the city of Tswane to find solutions to the cholera crisis in Amonskral, but also the issues around water treatment there. The outbreak has claimed the lives of 23 people in the Amonskral area. Tswane Mayor Silas Brink says they are fast-tracking resources and funding to upgrade the Royal wastewater treatment plant to improve water quality there. Our colleague, senior reporter, Vio Mdila, was at that briefing and he's back now. He's joining us now just to tell us more about uh, what uh, was said. Avio, uh, good afternoon. Welcome back and thank you for joining us uh, on today. So what interventions have been made for the cholera crisis in Amaskar? What was said in this very important briefing? Well, but then you get the sense that the authorities are obviously still in the dark when it comes to the source of the cholera outbreak. And you get this uh, and how they're looking everywhere for this particular source. Remember just yesterday, we got a sense from the Department of Health that there are suspicions that it was a 56-year-old policeman going to training in Hamanskral that may have been the one that actually d d spread the cholera crisis. And he was traveling from Usina. Yes, in that, that, those were the beliefs, uh, the suggestions yesterday. Today, they're leaning towards the direction of the water pollution itself. Remember that there is that water pollution in the Royval um, water treatment plant. It's believed that it could have uh, spread through the Apis Dam, going through the Leogral River itself, and then therefore it couldn't be treated and the water that was being supplied to the residents of Hamansqual uh, would have been polluted. So they now have doing extensive tents. That's uh, tests. That's what we're getting from the Department of Water San and Sanitation, alongside of course the mayor of the city of Tswane, doing extensive tests for the next two weeks and then thereafter we'll mm -hmm. be able to find out if indeed it is the polluted water. But in the interim there are a number of measures that are in place for example, there are those tankers that are crisscrossing Haman Skral, but also there is a project, uh, they call it the Mahalis package plant, that is a portable water uh, treatment plant that will treat the water in the interim. And of so course, they're going to be brought into the, in the, in the fold, the yes. Haman Skral, yeah. We're told okay. that begins in July and okay. by March 2024, then the residents can get clean tap water. And then the longer term plan is that, of course, to tackle all the water wars when it comes to the Roy, uh, Royval water treatment plant itself. And that's to be done by the end of 2026. But the cost of all of this, Brad Dan, is a staggering 4 billion rand. And I want you to take a listen, uh, maybe that explanation from the Director General of Water and Sanitation, just on that Mahali's package plant. There's already an existing connection between the clip drift water treatment works and the piped water distribution system in Hammond's Kral. The package plant itself will also be implemented in stages with 10 megalitres per day being uh, capacity being installed at a time to get up to the 30 to 40 megalitres capacity. Mahali's Water is planned to start installing this, pla this plant from July this year and to complete installing the plant by March 2024. By the time it is complete, this package plant will provide sufficient drinking water to supply the residents of Hammond's Kral with drinking water from their taps. And at that time, when the package plant is complete, the city will be in a position to be able to stop supplying residents with water from the Timber Water Treatment Works and rather supply them with water from the package plant until the quality of water from the Timber Treatment Works <coughs> meets drinkable standards again. That's uh, Dr. Sean Phillips, the DG of uh, Water and Sanitation there. You said they're going to need a lot of money. I mean, I mean, four billion rand is a huge chunk of money by any stretch of imagination. It's necessary for this entire project. Where is it coming from? That's the billion dollar question, brother. And, and at this stage, the answer is indefinite. We do understand currently there is a 450 million rand that's actually just been approved by the city of Tswane. And that only goes uh, towards the treatment of the Royval uh, water treatment plant. It hasn't even gone to the Mahalis package plant itself that's supposed to be delivering water by 2024. All of this uh, needs some 4 billion rand. Uh, so there's a deficit of at least 3.5 billion rand that they still need and after the briefing I actually had a conversation on the sidelines of it with the water and sanitation minister uh, Senzo Mkono. He couldn't give me a definite answer as to where the money is going to come from. In fact, let's take a listen to that conversation. We're going to have to look elsewhere for that, uh, uh, for that amount and it's not just random cent. It's quite a, 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 an amount but we, we are going to have to find it because uh, the, the package plant 
even though expensive. But it is, a, it is it's better in terms of reliability. It is better in terms of sustainability, even as a short-term measure, than tankering. Yes, tankering, suddenly the truck is broken, suddenly uh, you are not managing administration of these tankers, you are not sure of the water that is inside. So it's, not, it's less reliable. And therefore we're going to use tanker under very stringent conditions for a while until uh, the package plant gets, uh, gets in. But where we'll find money from is the subject that we have to attend to.